Hi and welcome to a new episode of a Crafter's Tale podcast. My name is Nina and I'm coming to you from Småland in southern Sweden. Um, welcome back to all old viewers and welcome to all uh, new viewers who found this podcast. This is a um, um, knitting podcast mainly, but I'm also talking all about sewing, crocheting, spinning, some carving, yeah, lots of um, crafts. <laughs> That's why it's called a crafter's tale, because I do a lot of crafts, I guess. But in winter time, it's mainly um, most, most knitting, I would say. But now over the summer, I have done a lot of other things as well. Because if my hands get so warm when knitting in wool and I don't like it so much to knit in other materials. I haven't tried it so much. I have knitted some, some things in linen mixes, but it's so hard on the hands. So I prefer to knit in wool. So that's yeah why I mainly knit in, in winter time. <laughs> but yeah. Enough about that. Uh, in today's episode I have a lot to show you. Not so many finished objects but lots. I have a lot of, lot of things going on that I want to share with you and show you. Mm. So let's dive right in with what I'm wearing maybe. This, let me check if I can come here up. So this is actually a sweater. I did not make myself. <laughs> uh, this sweater um, made my mom for, for me because we visited um, my family in Germany in August and it was so lovely to see them again. It's been a while now and it's also always so beautiful to be surrounded by family. My sister lives there as well with her children and my mom and my dad and it was really yeah, a blessing too to spend time with them and yeah I got this sweater from my mom and I haven't received any knitted sweater from her in like I don't know over 10 years since I started knitting sweaters I haven't she hadn't knitted has knitted a sweater for me and yeah she showed me the sweater and I said oh it's so beautiful and she said to me yeah I knitted it for someone I've never or yeah, never knitted a sweater to before or not in a very long time and I said who's that and she looked at me and she said it, it's you and I was so surprised I haven't um, I never would have expected that she uh, would knit a sweater for me and I think it wasn't intended when she, sh she started a sweater that it would be for someone else. I think she started this project um, for herself but then she realized it would be too warm and I don't know what her reasons were but yeah she decided pretty quickly that she would make it for me and I was so happy and it's so beautiful and soft. I don't remember what the design is called. I will put the info in here for you. But it's knitted in two strands, a new tiden in this beautiful um, sage color. Yeah, it's and it's so it's so soft. A new tiden, it's so interesting. New tiden in yarn can be so different because they use lots of different kinds of sheep wool from different breeds. So every um, colorway is different. So some are really really. A little bit more rough some are really really soft and I have knitted my tulip sweater I have knitted in two strands of New Zealand as well and it's not at all as soft as this one so it's it's really so cozy and it's it's really warm it's the first day I really can have it because it has been way too warm before and um, it's a little bit warm inside but it's it's okay and underneath I'm wearing um, a shirt I made for myself in linen uh, this summer and it turned out, yeah, I was really happy how it turned out. Maybe I can take off the sweater 
So you can see. Let me show you. So it's a, yeah, just a simple white shirt. <laughs> um, and I, yeah, really happy how it turned out. I, I haven't sewn a few um, shirts before for Lucas, um, but never for myself. And I'm really, yeah, I'm really happy how it, how it looks. And yeah, so this weather, I really appreciated it, this, this gift. Let me show you. It has this beautiful, um, I think it's slit stitches and some lace. Yeah, it's, um, now I re remember, it's the, it's a pattern from um, Melody Hoffman, exactly. Uh, one of her newest patterns called... No, I don't remember, but I will put it here for you. Anyway, beautiful sweater. Thank you so much, Mom, for this lovely gift. I will treasure it, treasure it always. <laughs> yes, and... There, there will be a lot of new tea then um, in this episode, I feel. <laughs> because the next project is a finished, finally finished project. And you maybe know what will come. Yeah, it's this. The cardigan for my sister. It's um, from Petite, the pattern is from Petite Knit called Novi's cardigan. It's uh, ended in the mohair edition, but I didn't. Yeah, I didn't knit it in mohair. It's also in new then. And yeah, it took me really long time to knit this. It's not so long. If you can see, it's um, yeah a little bit longer than cropped, um, but it has like these balloon sleeves. And yeah, I can put it on. I haven't um, sewn on the buttons. I will come to that a little bit later. But otherwise, it's completely finished. I just have to block it as well. Uh, because my sister and her family, they are coming on Sunday. Today is Friday and they're coming on Sunday and I have promised her that the cardigan will finally be, be ready when she is <laughs> coming to visit. So it looks like this. Let me show you. So it's pretty, yeah, short. And I think it will look really cute with buttons. And yeah, I like the big balloon sleeves. Yeah, so happy I'm done with this project because um, yeah, I have never knitted. Have I never? No, I have never knitted in one strand of Newtiden before, and it was kind of a pain, in, pain in the ass, as I said before, because the yarn broke all the time. It was so. It's the yarn is so delicate, so thin, so I regretted it a little bit that it did not blend in, maybe a silk mohair thread or so, but now I'm, I did it and I'm so proud of myself that I, that I, that I saw the shoe and did it and yeah, now it's just the buttons left and then I can put this aside and ah, so nice. And I, I really hope my sister will like it as much as I do. And yeah, the buttons, I had the idea because this is so light. I didn't, haven't weighted it, but it, I think I think it will not weigh more than 200 grams or something. So yeah, so super, super light. So it has to have really, really light buttons so they will not weigh it down. So I had the idea to just knit um, a piece of fabric and then felt it 
and then cut out um, circles and make own buttons like small balls uh, because these are really light um, or yeah tiny light buttons I don't know um, I don't know what do you, what do you think do you think it would be nicer with a contrasting color or would it be beautiful with with the same color I'm not sure I think I will try it with um, to make these buttons and how will look how it, how, how it turns out and if I'm not happy then yeah I will find some some light buttons I can use instead I think it maybe in a quite contrasting um, color instead and not the same yeah maybe I let her decide as well what she what she thinks so yes that was the Novis cardigan by Petit Knit a really simple um, top-down cardigan yeah I think I would like to knit it for myself someday but then not in, not in one strand of knit hidden I think but maybe in, in silk mohair because I think the original is knitted in two strands of silk mohair yes and the funny thing was I had one strand of knit hidden and I actually had to go up a needle size because I was knitting so so loose because I didn't have any tension on the yarn because it was breaking all the time so I had to go up a needle size but my yarn was actually yeah almost thinner than two strands of sigma hair together um, or maybe maybe it's almost the same but yeah I had to go up because I was knitting so loosely uh, so that's yeah that's um, was um, a learning experience too because I'm a quite I knit quite hard and uh, sometimes I feel it in my hands that when I knit a lot a lot that um, especially color work that um, yeah my hands are really crampy and then I have to stretch them out and yeah and with this this um, I, I knit it so loosely I didn't have problems with my hands because I was really relaxed in my hands all the time or well, try to anyway so yeah that was interesting interesting experience and now you would think that I would never cast on another project with um, one strand of knit hidden but I actually did because when I was in Germany I took with me some yarn because I had different projects in mind I wanted to um, to start there and my mom asked me if I wanted to do a little along with just she and um, her and me and it was the Sonetto sweater I don't know, remember the designer's name and yeah I didn't want to order yarn I just wanted to use the yarn I had with me and it was knit hidden to cakes I had two cakes of this color and I wasn't sure if um, it would be enough if I took it uh, double and I wanted a really light um, yeah sweater or and I had an intention there still that I would uh, just make a tea but now I think I will make a sweater anyway because it's getting colder and so I think I will make um, long sleeves anyway because now I have it will I will have enough yarn because I started this project with one strand again but with this color it's actually no problem at all um, because this yarn is much more it's a little bit thicker and it's not as not at all as soft as um, as this one so it this has some different um, breed in it um, 
on, and it is actually no problem at all to knit with one strand. I have no problem with yarn breaking and so I have really enjoyed um, knitting so far and I haven't come so far yet. My mom is already finished of course but my there, there was a lot of other stuff coming in between so I didn't make it uh, so far yet but I can show you what I have so far. It's a really beautiful pattern with these um, the slip stitches and then you like how do you call it you wrap the wrap the yarn around the stitches so it gives this beautiful fabric. I can see if I can stretch it out a little bit so you can see better. Like this. Mm -hmm. So the Sonetto cardigan is this and I'm really looking forward to continue on this now that th this is um, finished. I'm almost done with the yoke, um, almost a little bit more. And now the wrapped, um, the wrapped stitch section is over so now it will be go I'm going a little bit faster as well. But it was really fun. I think it's a really fun um, technique to make to make this this kind of um, pattern. And um, yes, my mom is knitting this in the same color as this one, in in one strand as well. And she had a little bit more problem with, with breaking, not as much as on this, but yeah, um, definitely definitely more. Um, than, than I had. Yeah, um, so she had a little bit more problems, so I, I helped her to make all the rows with the wrapped um, stitches because there you had a little bit had have a little bit more tension and I had a little bit experience with, with this one, so I helped her with these rows and she was really grateful. <laughs> For that. So yeah, that all all my new Tiden, um projects this episode. Uh, all these beautiful blue green colors. You see what what I like. <laughs> um, yes. Um, so that was work in progress number one. And the second one is actually not a knitting project, it's a crochet project and I think, did I talk about it in the last episode? I don't remember. Maybe I showed you or told you that I would want to do it and it's this lady. <laughs> Let me show you a little bit closer. from the side so you can see um, this pregnant belly and yeah I made this doll um, for Saga so I could explain to her what is going on with mommy's uh, body and where's the baby coming out and so on <laughs> so uh, I found this pattern on Etsy I will link it to you to the pattern down below if you are interested and I am so impressed by how this pattern was written. So these small details, how it, this like the hands and yeah, the tiny feet and the knees and everything is so detailed. And had, she has ears and a nose as well. And yeah, I'm so impressed by this construction. Um, <laughs> There are many asked me, did you did, did you make her did you make the pattern on yourself? Oh well, no no I could never I could never do that. I think it's really I'm quite new in crocheting. I haven't crocheted so much. Um but it was really fun, <laughs> a really fun project. And she's not quite finished yet because I have to make her a dress as well. So she will not be all naked. And then of course I made the baby as well. And the baby is Currently inside her here. 
I will pull it out so you can see it. <laughs> yeah, Saga, um, she thinks it's so fun to play with the doll and pull pull out the baby and put it inside again and yeah, she, she, she knows exactly now how everything is working. And then it's, yeah, when she has pulled it out it's always nursing time and she's playing that the baby is breastfeeding. <laughs> it's so fun when she's playing with it. Yeah, that's the little baby. I have made the placenta already. I don't know where it is. Is it with me? No, I actually don't know where I have it. But yeah, it will be attached with a little button so you can take it off um, as well. And then I have to embroider some eyes on the baby as well. So. Yeah, but otherwise these two are almost finished, some small details only left and yeah, really fun, really fun <laughs> project to make um, and Saga really appreciates it and my, my, sis my little sister, she's pregnant same time with me and her little girl uh, also um, loves this doll and thinks it's so um, interesting and fun to see um, and where the baby's coming out and <laughs> the big belly and yeah so yes a little more detail here face <laughs> so yes that's my mommy she hasn't got a name yet, maybe you can give her, give me some name suggestions in the comments, that would be great. Um, she has got wild, uh, thick hair. <laughs> uh, in the pattern she has these, this 50s um, hairstyle and I didn't, yeah, I wanted her to look a little bit more like me. And not a 50s housewife so that's why I made the hair a little bit different than in the pattern <laughs> um, so yeah that's that um, my next project is then my last actually my last no not the last I don't, the, the, I'm most active right now is a test knit for Tornadol's Frun, she is a beautiful Swedish designer, she makes beautiful designs, we would, should check her out. I think all her patterns are in English as well, on Ravelry. And I'm knitting a baby jumper, jumpsuit. And I'm making the, the three months... Um, size yeah for a three month baby because I thought it would be because the baby is coming in November and I thought it would be great if I had something really warm in like February when it's on the, at coldest here in Sweden um, so yeah and the yarn I'm using for this is um, Pickles Bliss from Pickles a Norwegian brand um, and it's alpaca baby alpaca so it's really really soft no it's some I think it's some wool as well it's a mix yeah but uh, really really soft so I don't think it will be scratchy and the, um, yeah right now it's not so much twisty but on the sleeves it has a really beautiful um, yeah, leaf um, pattern so I'm really looking forward to to coming this far. I just have to knit a little bit more, um, and then I will cast on for the sleeves, and then I will join everything for the yoke later. So yeah, this has to be finished soon as well. Um, and then I have one more. Um, work in progress and I haven't finished the yoke last time I podcasted I think but now I have finally 
or if I have you will see it again now that's okay <laughs> and it's my Osta Ostachan sweater Ta -da. and yeah so I have just separated for the sleeves for the body and yeah I'm so happy that I made it this far um, because yeah I don't I didn't think it was so fun to knit these um, pearl yeah, to knit color work with purling it was quite tedious actually I think my mom knitted the sweater and she had so much fun that she knitted the entire sweater in in this pattern because now um, the rest of the sweater is just plain stockinette and I'm knit knitting it in this um, light grey uh, Rauma Finol and I, I'm so much looking forward to this um, just plain stockinette and no thinking knitting <laughs> actually and then it will be a little bit on the sleeves yeah so yes I really want to finish this um, for autumn and yes that's that um, that were all my knitting projects and then I wanted to show you some carvings I have made lately. These are carvings I took uh, free um, custom orders over the summer and they are almost finished now and I just wanted to share them with you. I have done some videos when while carving so I will um, include these as well. Maybe I will do, 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 include these now before I show you the actual last pins. So here we come. Here it comes. <laughs> Enjoy.
So yeah, welcome back. Um, I will start by showing you the one that is all finished. And yeah, all, not almost, I have to oil, oil it again. But that's the little kitty. And yeah, I'm really happy how she turned out. Mm -hmm. Customer just, just said to me she wanted a, a grey cat with some black and white details and so I had free hands how to, to otherwise how to paint and yeah I made her little tabby cat with black and white stripes and uh, yeah the tail that's going down here and then here you have a little hole so you can put um, a newer winding yarn you can uh, tie the, the end around here so it doesn't disappear inside um, if you want to knit from the inside it's good if you have the um, the start <laughs> so yeah so it's a little bit a little hole here for that and yeah I'm really happy how she turned out one of my best cats so far I think and had, had, it has been really fun to do some carving again, it has been a while now and go back, get back to this and yeah because in uh, mid-September I will have, I will be selling on a local um, market here um, and I will be selling some carvings and lots of natural dyed wool and yarn uh, and I'm right now I'm carving a lot a lot of things for the market as well so that's it's really fun actually to get back. Um yeah. The next must pin is almost done. It's already painted. I have just to paint some more details. And it's the little hair. Look at him. So cute. Yeah, and she, he will get some more details in the face and yeah, and the fur maybe. And then he's finished as well. So, just like this together. Hmm. And the last uh, Nasta pin is a really special one and it's an animal, you know, you can, cannot call it an, an animal, but it's um, an animal <laughs> that I've never carved before. And when I got the the request, if I could make it, I was really, really intrigued. And I said, yes, I will really want to try it and I've never done it before, but if you trust me, I will do my, my best. And it's a dragon. And she sent me a picture of a dragon her mom had made for her years ago and it was this little cute um, dragon and I was really happy that it was not this yeah big spiky dragon with lots of teeth and spikes and whatever so that it was a little more yeah cute a cute um, um, what do you say kind dragon <laughs> And yeah, so far I am still working working on him, but so far he looks like this. He has small wings, and he will get some horns. But the the, um, the wood I chose was not perfect um, for that for these details, tiny details. So I will make them ex uh, externally and then put them put them on later. And yeah, so he's a tiny, cute dragon, and yeah, let's we'll see how he will turn out. In the end, I will definitely show you. Uh, but it has been really fun so far to work on this little dragon. So different from everything I have done before, and. Yeah, I'm really happy how he looks right now. I hope it will um, continue 
good and that she will be happy with her little dragon in the end. He will be painted green and red uh, later on, so it will be really fun to, to paint him later on as well. I think that makes them always come to lie when I, um, when I paint them. But right now I'm enjoying the carving process on this one. And yeah, I will film some more now when I'm making all the details so I can show you next time. And um, I'm using um, juniper for this and it smells so good. I love to carve with juniper, it's, it smells just the best smell ah, in the world, I think. So yeah. That were all the three lost pins. Um, now I will take a break again because I have, yeah, have some carvings going on for the market, and then, yeah, a baby will come, and then I will have to take a break over the winter, and maybe we will see how it goes um, in spring, so next summer, where we will be, I don't know, but. Um, I really enjoy carving um, and yeah, I don't want to end it um, completely but yeah time time is not enough sometimes and so yeah I will I will I carve and I have find the time and when I find inspiration and then we will see how much I can produce and how much I can make. Now it has been a long time I could make like six nost pins for a shop update so just put them, put them in the shop. It has been yeah before Saga I think. <laughs> it's hard when you have children you have, don't have so much time anymore um, and now it is coming another child so there will be even less time. <laughs> But that, that's life and that's um, fun as well and um, yeah but I will podcast soon again in September um, because I, had a lot, I have a lot of um, autumn plans but I will show them to you in the next episode I will make a, make a more autumn -y themed um, episode and yeah, I see you soon. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Enjoy your knitting and your crafting. And yeah, I see you. Bye.